it's my favorite day. It's my favorite day. Day 10 is my favorite day. And I know that as the author of this advent, I probably should not have favorites. I probably should like love them all the same, but I don't. I love this day the most. I love this day the most. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to open it and show you. So let's just get, let's just go. Okay, hi, my name is Melly. I'm from Melly Knits and together with my husband, Aaron, we have this wool hustle, side hustle gone wild where we wash wool, we card wool, we sell wool to spinners and we did an advent this year and it was like six of this and six of this and six of this and, and then we like put them all together and we send it out to the spinners and now we're at day 10. Mm. Okay, okay. This one. This one. This one, okay, you ready? Oh, 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 day nine, day nine, day nine. Uh, it's Rommeldale and we love it. It's Boinky, it'll save you if you fall to your death. Rommeldale, that's what we have from the other day. Okay, okay. Oh, calm yourself, woman. No, I won't. I wanted to show you guys this one so badly the whole time. Okay, day 10. Oh shoot, where to go? Is day nine's wool with 20% possum. We called it nature's chaos, cause holy smokes. Okay, I gotta tell you the story and then you'll know, you'll know why this is my favorite. I mean, okay, Bonnie, once upon a time, there was a, there was a girl named Bonnie, Union Fiber. She um, is actually from this area originally, Bonnie and I are like, from the same neck of the woods. And she's ended up in New Zealand, and that's where she is with her family. And by some who knows what, I don't even know how we, I can't even think about the first time we would have interacted online, but somehow we interacted online and then started making like all these connections and like just isms, ways of being, etc. And then we ended up doing like a fiber swap and I sent her some breed she'd want to try and she sent me some stuff. And one of the things that she sent me was this bat. Okay, hold on. Look at this weirdo bat she sent me. <laughs> Can you see? This is a carded bat, all right? Like on purpose, okay, for spinning. <laughs> Look at, I wish you could see it from my angle where the light is coming through the other side. So this, weirdo bat she sent me. I remember opening the bag and just going like, what on earth? So this is a, um, I think this is, I think, is this her, is this Corydale? And uh, I can't remember the wool that's in it, but there's possum in this bat, like hairs and, and little like flurs and fluffs and chunks and like all this color and like tones because it's just this hilarious possum bat and I had never ever experienced possum so this hilarious bat was my very first possum experience okay and I just remember gazing at it similar to what I'm doing now because there's like because <laughs> there's like furs little little fur possum chunkers in it and I thought it was so unusual and so fabulous like obviously it's weird right so I'm like ooh, it's weird this means it's better like it's, it's, so I got really excited about this possum day sorry about this possum bat and then um body came came home for a visit in the summer and we got to spend this day together so I love when internet friends become real life friends because now with things like social media, it's super not like it used to be like catfishy, right? Where if you met someone on the internet, you're gonna meet up with them in real life. Like, uh oh, like that's gonna end up on the nightly news. No, now what social media has done and this like awesome, especially within this wool community is these friends that are online become like real life friends. So there's like a ton of people that I have met via wool via instagram that i have like actually spent facetime with like real time sitting together restaurants um sleeping at their homes going away on trips together like all kinds of stuff and i i really really love that and i love what this brings so bonnie is is one of these friends that i am like just hashtag blessed to know in real life we got to spend this whole day together and she brought me possum and i just think this is like the funniest weirdest fiber. It is so weird. And 
when Aaron first looked at it, he's like, what is this? It's like feathers? Like, what am I looking at? I'm like, no, baby. That's a little New Zealand bush possum. So this is possum. This is what it looks like. So she brings me this huge bag of raw, like, <laughs> it's just fallen everywhere. She brings me this huge bag of raw possum, okay? Uh, that her neighbor goes out into the New Zealand bush and plucks the possums. I know, I know, that sounds probably not so lovely. Um, and some of you who've already spun this day are having opinions. There is some polarization around possum. I have had like, oh, possum. And I've had like, oh, possum. Like my sister, for instance, when I told her that I was blending possum into one of the days, she actually made like a kind of noise. She was like, possum. Like it was so funny. Uh, it's been referred to as the roadkill day. Um, there has been, there's been some, some eyebrows raised. Like I, I like it, but I'm also a little scared of it, you know, kind of thing. But we have, we have got, with the possum, we have some serious range in our exotics, okay? I should start spinning while I'm talking to you because I'm just so excited. I'm holding, I'm like, with the possum, not even in this one. Holy crap, girl. Okay, so with the possum, we have some serious, oh, he's way over there. There's some serious range in the exotic. So like day one was a camel, a camel lid, you know, like alpaca fam and all that kind of stuff. We had that discussion where I sounded super intelligent. And then, you know, day three was Angora. So we had like a little rodent representation. And then we have uh, day five, which was silk. Um, that day five, that day six. What day six? Am I off? One, two. Yeah, I'm way off. Two was the camel and four was the bunny and six. Six was the silk and then eight. We had, what the heck was an eight? Oh, cashmere. So we've got some goat representation. And then now we've got what I found out was marsupial. I was actually calling this a rodent the whole time until my pal Carmen was like, it's a marsupial. This matters to me. <laughs> Oh, that was so great. I had so many good combos with Carmen specifically about this one. She was really nice about it. She was really, really nice about the plot. Awesome. Uh, which, <laughs> like, I'm so glad I got to experience it. I'm not sure I'll ever experience it again, but I'm really glad I got to. Meanwhile, like, and I am killing myself laughing, right? Because this isn't like a prank. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not pranking anybody with my possum day. I legitimately find this wildly interesting. Like wildly interesting, super cool, and spinning it is a trip. So worsted spinners, you're gonna make a huge, huge mess. If you're gonna sit here and you're gonna like inchworm this possum, you're gonna have, you're gonna have clumps of possum all over your lap, but you know, own that for what it is because as a conversation piece, being able to open with, so this one time when I had clumps of possum all over my lap, like no one's gonna ever expect that. It's gonna be a complete like sideliner. Like it's gonna just be wow, pizzazz. You're gonna be invited to every dinner party ever, seriously. Um, but woolen spinners, you'll have fun because the second you start spinning it, cause there's, I can't even accurately show you the texture in this thing. like. It's, this camera's not doing it justice. There are, there are like fur, I wanna find a good one. <laughs> I, wanna find a, I wanna find a big juicy one. There are these like fur clumps. There's fur clumps in this day. Here's a clump. Uh, wow, I'm really testing my skills. I wish I could, cause like I should've just taped it to something. <laughs> this is it. <gasps> ah, there he floats away. Um, fur clumps are in the possum day. And when you're woolen spinning it, it like slurps them up into the vortex. And so Carmen specifically, because her and I had detailed conversations about this. She was like doing worse at first. Then she switched to woolen and she was like, I would be spinning and I would be watching it coming out. And I'm like, who is it gonna get it? Is it gonna get it? And oh, it got it. Like it just, it just slurped it right in. And so, um, I mean, just talk about fun. Like, I just think this is the most fun. I just think this whole thing is the, I'm having the most fun. Can I tell you? Pause. I, this is nuts. 
like the fact that this is what I'm doing with my time, even right down to the YouTube, now that's not scaring me so much anymore, I am having the most fun from conception all the way through to this day 10. Whew. Okay, here we go. I'm back to it. I'm not going to get, I'm not going to sit here and get emotional about my fun. Okay, so I'm woolen spinning because I'm a one trick pony and that's really all I do. I get comments by the way, but oh my gosh, you're long draw. Yeah, all I do is long draw. That's my only, that's my only trick. I am just going to long draw through and through. So, possum, hollow fiber, super warm, um, but insane. This is like the craziest fiber ever that I have played with. We, carding this was nuts because if I thought that the Angora bunny day made a mess, we were not prepared for possum. It was like everywhere. We were finding it on the bottom of our socks. We were finding it down the hall. Like, look, can you see? Can you see what's, you can't see it. You can't see. Dang it. Um, we were finding it everywhere. It wanted to float away. But thankfully, Aaron had his mega skills from day four's Angora with the folded in, you know? So he was just folding in that possum and we went good and slow. So the majority of the possum in this definitely, um, definitely broke up and just sort of infused throughout. But there is a small percentage that stayed like clumpy, like in an individual little fur cluster. And so every now and then when you're spinning, you come across these individual little fur clusters and I giggle. It's so, maybe that's not the right response. I don't know, but I am like looking at them, trying to spin way up here in case any of this is gonna show up. Probably not, but just know that I'm having a wonderful time, okay? So how this has, so carding this was, a, was an absolute trip. Like everywhere and super weird and it's really like fluffy and feathery. So when Aaron first asked if it was feathers, like he wasn't crazy for asking if it was feathers. It's got a quality like that to it. Um, oh, no, we don't like you. We, it has a definite quality like that to it. So he uh, was finding it just dancing all over the room. Like he'd be sitting in the room and I would turn my head to look back at where he was carding. It would be like floating, feathery-like, all the way down. Oh, he's been joined. It would be floating feathery-like all the way down. And and just like, it was like the, the, the opening to Forrest Gump, you know, where you're watching the feather just turn and twist and twirl. Well, imagine that in the wool room. And it should have been maybe magical, but it was just so weird. Because <laughs> you turn around, you're like, oh, there's just possum everywhere. It's like it's just freshly exploded into the room. Okay, how this has changed the fleece. That's interesting. So when we were pairing, I've talked before about how we had like different, um, well, okay, we la how we laid out all six of the fleece once they were washed and that there were some of them that we knew what the pairing was gonna be right away. We knew, like I, I knew, for instance, the finale, I knew that one. I think in my last video I said I only knew two, but that was a lie, I knew three. We knew what the finale was gonna be because we were putting like, we were putting all the money together, <laughs> you'll find out. Ooh, spoiler. And then, but there were some other days that were like, we could do this or we could do this. With the possum, there were only two options of where a possum could go. That was it, just two. Where I felt that the, the fiber itself, the wool, could contain some of this crazy side, right? Like where the fiber was gonna be able to like harness the crazy. So my only two options right off the bat were the burn pile day or the Rommeldale day, because I think both Rommeldale and burn pile could contain the crazy. But the burn pile day ended up getting on with the, with the recycled cashmere, because the romance of like, we're both, you know, waste product and now we're together and we're amazing. Um, so that, so that was settled. So the only option was the Rommeldale. It had to go with the Rommeldale. And then that worked out to be perfect too, color wise, because check me out and you know, I'm all down with my color story. I have to have my color story. Um, this, okay. Here's the possum, the little clumpy of possum. Look at it glow. And here's our Rommeldale. 
I mean, how could that be more perfect? So not only, and I chose the six fleece first. These were washed already before we paired the, the exotics with them. So I had them, I had the exotics and I had the fleeces, but I hadn't quite determined who was going to go with who and who was going to get, you know, married and live happily forever after. Look at these ones. So um, this turned out to be perfect because I didn't want massive alteration of color, right? Like between days. And so that just, come on, like, it's like, it's like things just cosmically work together to get... So not only can it contain the crazy, it's the same color as the crazy. So I really, really loved that. And when it all came together, it was just like, oh yeah. Anyone here seen the Kronk movies? It's all coming together. <laughs> I love those movies. The Kronk movies. Truly they are. We're not calling them Emperor's New Groove. It's just the Kronk movies. Okay, so uh, that's where we're at. Carding it was a trip. It was crazy. Made a massive mess. And I've never seen Aaron spend more time vacuuming the carter than he did for Possum Day because it was everywhere. And then for spinning it, like I'm having to manage this quite a lot more. This has um, really, I'm gonna say opened up the Rommeldale because the Rommeldale is a pretty unified spin, right? Like it's not fluffy and it's not like slippy. Um, this has opened it up. This is definitely, oh, we just had a feather. I want to see if I can see it. Why am I whispering? Oh, I've knocked him out with my hand. Okay. Um, the, the, where was I going? Trails. Get off your trails, Melissa, and get back on track. Um, I'm having to manage this a lot more. So I was just, I bet you I could long draw it, like long, long draw it, but I feel like I don't quite have the same control that I had with the plain day where the plain day I could like just shut my eyes and one hand and rip the long draw right across the room, right? This one I'm, and I'm spinning way up high like this just for, uh, maybe this has no benefit to you at all, but I'm just kind of looking to see how it's drafting. And it's drafting even and beautiful, even with all these chunks in it. But at the same time, there's one, a little bit of, ah, so cool and weird. <laughs> Uh, but at the same time, I feel like this, this does need ever so much more management. I'm going to see if I can get closer. Uh, this is awesome. Oh, come on. Go back the other way. I want to see if we can get one where an actual like big old chunky cluster is coming down the line. But I don't think we can. If I hold it here, does that help see it better? Maybe not. Oh, I see a feather coming. Okay, I'm just going to try and get a feather going and then we're going to peace out. Trying to keep these videos to a reasonable amount of time. It's hard. I just get chatting. There's a feather, are you friend? See him? And it's not even feather, it's fur. I keep whispering. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's see if he gets slurped into the vortex here. No, he's sort of dancing, so I'm just going like this. Now he's in. Anyway, that's what is going on with Possum. I am so excited. Oh, there we go. We got the feel. I'm so excited about this day for its absolute weird, weirdo magic. This day has excessive amounts of weirdo magic and it's super unique. Like until Bonnie shared with me, I had never spun possum ever. I hadn't even thought to spin possum until Bonnie shared it with me. And I'm just going to drag that back like to a global thought here about how awesome the connections and like the, the friendships and the getting to know you have been doing all this wool stuff because you're introduced too to like other things to try and, and uh, from different areas of the world. Like I don't often even think about possum and in New Zealand, they're like crazy bush pests who eat like the indigenous birds. And so everybody there just hates these little things. Like they're just like, get out of here, possum, you know? And it's that, or you're thinking of some weird hillbilly cookout or something, right? Or like actual roadkill. But I don't actually ever think about possum as being like, like a luxury fiber that's heckin' soft and that I can blend into my bats and spin and it's a hollow fiber. So it's crazy warm and it's got a great shine and dynamic color and like just all these rad things. Plus it's just 
was just super weird. So win-win, winning all around. We're winning, everybody's winning. Win fest for the world, except for, for, except for, for these possums. Um, okay, so that's all. I think that's all I have to say. Did I do all the things? Did I do all of the things? I, I showed you possum, I showed you the bat. Bonnie, oh, Bonnie, yeah, yeah. Showed you the other day. I think I did, I think I showed you all of the things. Okay, so what this means is that um, we're getting down to it. We're getting down to the last two videos of the series. Um, right when I'm gonna get the most comfortable with YouTube is when this thing is gonna be over. <laughs> Wow, what a wasted, what a wasted, no, I'm not gonna say wasted, say what a wasted uh, learning curve, like I'm gonna take this massive learning curve and not use it anymore, but you know what, I'm not gonna say that, who the heck knows, and I think that this has been a stinking joy, so here we come into the finale, it's a two-part finale, by the way, it's a two-part finale that I can't wait to get to, and in that finale, again, I'm going to remember to talk about the breed and the processing, but also I want to share with you guys about the advent processing in total. Like you have bits and pieces of it, but I want to talk about putting that sucker together. So hopefully I can remember to do that. Um, and that'll be in two days. We'll begin that. And for now, I will leave you all. And I'm going to sit here and I'm even spinning it weird. Are you noticing this? Like I'm like, <laughs> as I sit here spinning it. Oh, this one just, this one just gets me. This one just gets me. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. Thank you for joining me on my weird magical adventure and um, see you in two days. Okay. Love you so much. Goodbye.